good morning everybody um and happy new year today is uh december 31st 2017 uh, right now it's roughly around 9 30 so today right now it's new year, uh new year's eve um yeah it's been a while since i did any update on my s2000 and we done anything to it actually so um i'm off today obviously today the weekend um new year's eve um so quickly i just want to go through some stuff that i want to be doing to my s2000 uh, let me fit the uh flip the camera around okay guys so like i say today is uh december 31st new year's eve happy new year everyone uh it's been quite a long time since i did anything to my s2000 as you can see here's the stand i think on my previous video i did um I did the rear diffuser and the front um, lip on it and then um, also did the rear differential oil, transmission oil and engine oil as well. Um, and I've been driving like this for past, uh, okay sorry about that, um, I was talking to my mom. But anyway like I was saying, um, I have the, okay this is a top one what's it called top one yeah top one rear diffuser i have the rear diffuser and then the lip on for i can't remember when did i post the last video but i probably had it on for ooh, two three months four months i don't know i can't remember exactly how long i have it on and looking back on it uh reflection on it i love the look i don't know if you yeah, let me back it up I don't know how you, what you guys think about the look, but I like the diffuser in the front lip. Um, you can't really see the front lip because I took it off um, three days ago. Um, I'll tell you guys the reason why. So, the rear diffuser. Low angle. Um, yeah, let's flip around from this view. Okay, so things that i'll be doing for today um first of all i'll be taking off the diffuser i already took off the front lip already oops my finger i already took off the front it's the same brand from uh top one uh, it's get really dirty i barely clean it um what right this top one modeling um yeah it's still pretty brand new um and just really dirty and uh, dusty that's all uh let's see what else i want to talk about so i'll be taking that thing off i already took the front off really um reason why i took it off is it was scraping like crazy um it looks beautiful i mean the back it wasn't scraping as bad though um as you see i kept it on for another week but the front i took it off like yeah i took it off <laughs> because it was scraping pretty bad um especially go over the bump or if you go on like high speed on like a highway or freeway and you got to do a turn sometime and there's a bump uh suspension is pretty strong though so it doesn't arch that much but especially when there's a bump when you're going high speed the front the edge corner side it just starts scraping so that's not good so i'll be taking the back off as well um today so before i take the back off um i'll be doing a oil change um even though it's not time yet i think it's only been like 2000 mile or 3000 mile but anyway um i all, i only use synthetic oil so i'll be doing the oil change so first thing i'll probably do the oil change first um and then while the oil is being drip i'll probably unscrew all unbolt everything um because I, I'm holding the cell phone or recording it myself, so I don't have anyone holding this for me. Um, so I won't able to record the step by step. Maybe I could give you guys all the detail um, for the top one. Uh, if you watch my installation, you probably knows it. There's basically a three bolts right on the corner, three bolts on the other side, two right here on the edge, the tip of it, and then another two uh, go on the red. Um, sway bar it it's a it's a pretty big bolt i think it's like 22 or something like that um the kit came with everything so yeah i'm 
gonna remove that. Um, let's quickly talk about some of the stuff um, that I ordered. Uh, everything's in this big box right here. Um, so quickly show off some of the stuff that I ordered. Uh, obviously you need the filter. Here's the serial number. I don't know if it's focused, probably not. Hold on. Let me see. Let me tap it. There we go. That's the serial number. Uh, I also bought one of these uh, Honda Lock. Um, the reason why is that I will also be changing a. Oh, I've got the spark plug. Um, the spark plug is inside the house. So I'll be changing a valve cover seal, everything. Uh, this whole kit right here. Um, here's the serial number for that. That's the spark plug uh, seal for each one of them. Uh, there should be four, as you can see, four of these. And then here's the valve cover I'll be changing as well. And I'll be also doing, um, um let's see what else I will also be doing. Um, oh, yeah. While I'm doing the oil change and doing the spark plug, I was thinking that I might as well do also do the VTEC as well. Even though it's not, it's not leaking, um, as you see, let me show you the um, thing. You can't, you cannot buy this directly from Honda dealership. They don't have it, so you have to buy it on eBay. As you can see, this is from eBay, and this is a brand. But and that's the, that's the one on the top of the VTEC. Uh, solenoid and this is directly from Honda as you can see and quickly note that all the stuff that I bought even the spark plug I bought it from uh, a place called Vol Island um, it's uh, yeah it's a Vol Island Honda dealership the reason why I live in California um, Fremont California the reason why I bought it from Vol Island um, dealership uh, I'm guessing Royal Island is pretty small, so they only have one dealership. Everything in there is cheap. It's like one third of the price from my local dealership. Yeah, like believe me, like my just for um for here for example, like VTEC, no, not VTEC, uh, valve cover seal right here, the whole kit. It costs probably around fifty something in my local dealership. Um, over there it costs about twenty something or thirty. Um, of course, the shipping is not for free, but it's a flat rate shipping. So if you order all these, it's only shipped. Well, it only cost me like seven bucks to ship all the way across the country um, from Rhode Island to California. It only cost me seven, and they're able to squeeze everything in. So that's pretty good. That I got it from eBay. I think like two, three dollars. Um, I also bought the spot plug. Let me quickly get it. Give me a sec. Okay guys, so here's the spark plug I just took it out from the house. Um, I bought this from the dealership as well. Uh, Laser Platinum uh, NGK. It's hard, oh man. It's really hard to focus on this thing. I have to tap on the cell phone. Uh, let me tap on it. Oh, there we go. So, NGK spark plug, Laser um, Platinum. Um, this is the one that, this is the newer one. Um, they have the let me see if I have a serial number. Oh yeah, here's a serial number. This is this is the one that you where you want water from. Um, you want the 11S on it. Um, I think they have the older model, which is the 11. That's the previous version, the AP1 use. Uh, but they changed the recommendation. I also uh, read on the phone that the spot plug come with some the the seal or some sort of loop on the thread already, so you don't have to apply anything. Um, the reason why I'm changing is not because my spot plug is bad or it's my engine or it's leaking when like something, but I just feel like doing it since, you know, my car is a 2007, um, this is a 2007, oh yeah, another thing, I'm also going to be removing the, the Honda sticker, Honda F1 sticker, I like F1, but I just feel like it's time to, um, it's time to change. But anyway, like I was talking about, the car is a 2007. Um, everything is in perfect condition. Um, I just felt like it's time. Like 2007, next year is 2008, and this is 2007, so it's gonna be what, like more than 10 years, 11 years. So maybe it's time to change the all these stuff. Well, 
um, if I live in Fremont, California, so if anybody wants a uh, good condition spot plug or I don't know, like one of those seals for VTEC, um, yeah, um, hit me up and you could have it for free and just drop by or something or I could meet you in the Bay Area um, another thing I'll be changing is um, so my uh, what you might call it my timing chain tensioner um, yeah is that what you call it yeah timing chain tensioner it's not leaking and well it's not making any noise but I just feel like I want to point a new seal so this is the seal um, this is the serial number if you guys are looking for it. Uh, let me get focus in again. Yep, so that's the seal for the timing chain. Um, what's it called? Tensioner. Timing chain tensioner. A lot of people tend to uh, change the whole thing when it starts like, making noise, your timing chain. But mine's not making noise. I just feel like changing it. And at the same time, I'll take it out and I um, sand it down there a bit. Um, so to making sure that it'll last even longer um, even I don't know if that makes sense um, a lot of people what they do is they buy a new one uh, aftermarket one some some kind of lifetime warranty or they'll buy another one from OEM one or they could take it take the old one out and sand it down um, to improve the to stop the noise or to I don't know to refurbish it but mine is not causing any problem but I'll I'll take it out and refurbish it as well. We'll make it better again. And then uh, this is the Honda Data. Uh, the red one is for like high temperature. As you can see right there, it's a high temperature strength thread lock. So I'll be still using uh, these for the bolt, even though you don't need it, but I'll put a few drop on just for uh, safety reason. Let me see what else, if I order anything. Wow, we should use a lot of paper. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, one thing that I hate the most... Oh man, it's jacking up the car. I have to put it on the jack stand, full size. So that's going to take a while. I'll do the left, right, left, right, you know, back and front. And then I'll loose up the bolt for the drain. And then loose the gasket and then let it drain, and, you know, while I check out the rear diffuser. After I'm done with that, I'll close the seal, um, close the bolt for the drain, for the engine, and then I'll lower the car. I'm not going to fill the oil first, and then I'm going to go in and remove the valve cover. That's the step. Um, yeah, other than that, I won't be showing step by step. I mainly just want to uh, give you guys additional information on ordering the parts number, giving you guys the parts number, and then additional information as such as you know where to order these kind of cheap stuff um, that I I tend to shop around online and I found that Rhode Island Honda Rhode Island Honda dealership is is really cheap um, most stuff um, I think the oil filter is the same price but hey I've, since they are shipping it might as well ship with them as well so I, have to, I don't have to separate the water other than that yeah as you can see the car get dirty very easily um, I washed a few days ago, but now it's pretty dirty. Even the side mirror got mud on it. Um, the top is in good condition, so I don't have to do anything on it. Probably just need to wash it a little bit, but it's very good. Uh, yeah, so this is probably going to be the maintenance that I'll be doing for this morning. Um, again, like I say, I hate jacking up the car. It's take forever. Um, other than that, um, if you have any questions, leave a comment up below. And like I say, if you want my old spot plug, which I have perfectly fine, just hit me up. Um, you know, I could meet you in San Jose or Fremont, somewhere local, and then you could have it. And also, you could have the gasket as well for those um, those VTEC and stuff. I think it's I don't, it's it's fine but since i'm doing it i might as well change it because i'll be removing the valve cover so might as well you know it doesn't take a additional step to change the vtec um filter and all that stuff so it's right next to each other yeah um i know there's a lot of video online um, people showing step by step on how to do it so i won't add to it i mean i'll just give you general information on update on my card um 
yeah and i really appreciate those of you guys who uh do DIY, D, DIY or diy yeah diy on your cars stuff like that uh, you know i definitely watched in and i actually know a lot from them i'm not saying i'm good better than anybody i'm probably noob but still um i hope that this video could be helpful probably not uh, but yeah um the exhaust that i have is nvidia is that how you, i think that's how you pronounce it n1 um it's not one piece it's two piece so they got the full cap back and then um the the back the exhaust part uh i also had the nvidia 77 fit 70 millimeter um downpipe on it with the with the box um e l o x box um um o2 sensor um uh, i guess engine light with whatever you call it um uh, the um dd or something like that so that engine light doesn't show up um yeah that's it so as you can see i took the front thing off already um yeah okay i might give you guys a a clip when i finish but i'm gonna get started now thanks for watching okay guys a quick update check out the diffuser already that's the diffuser right there i noticed that it has a hole right there because um apparently it melted because of because of the exhaust but exhaust is fine and just the uh, diffuser sort of melted a hole right there anyway yeah that took a long time um mainly because of the jack it took forever to jack up the car I had to put like a rock on the bottom just to get my lift under the car as you see i changed the oil already i drained the oil but i haven't um I haven't filled the oil yet so that's the old one the new ones in the box I haven't do anything to it so right now before I fill up the oil I'm not going to do it right now before I fill up the oil I'm going to um, do the valve cover so I'm going to remove the valve cover I'm going to remove the VTEC solenoid and timing belt tensioner um, so yeah I'm gonna get started with that but other than that after I finish with that then then i'm going to uh, fill up the oil um i still have to go find my um what you call it my um uh, sandpaper because i need to sand down the tensioner you know like i mentioned earlier uh, nothing wrong with the tensioner it just it doesn't make any noise or anything like that the timing bell it just a uh, timing chain i mean it just uh you know since i want to do this new seal on it might as well sand it down as well you know yeah but that's it okay guys a quick update on the process of uh, changing valve cover so I was able to get the cover off as you see um, it looked like everything looks really clean like there is no burn mark or anything on each uh, lobe uh, very clean uh, well lubricated so everything's good um timing chain looks fine too um the gear look um good um i took as you see i took the timing chain tensioner and also a um, vtex solenoid so here's the valve cover um i was having struggle taking the cover off most um there was two reasons first reason is that um you gotta take this clip off this wire off because this thing is blocking it so you have to clip um this this is the part right here where you gotta push it up not push it down so push it up use a flat here where you or your fingernail like i'm doing right now use a fingernail push it up and pull it out and that should come out another thing that i was struggling on a lot it was um i tried to remove the valve cover it wasn't coming out the reason why it was that uh, i took out the bolt but I did not take these rubber seal off. I didn't know that you have to take these rubber seal out to pull it out. Because um, the rubber seal is kind of... It doesn't completely hold the valve cover down. It's basically just kind of seal the oil. But it is pu putting some friction on the valve cover so that it doesn't come up. So this seal, it actually goes on the loop right here. Go on these uh, the bolt right here. 
so it was holding it down even though I will move the bolt on top of it but you have to take this out as well so that's one thing and then other than that I just kind of left the wire for the spark plug wire kind of left it hanging um, I put the spark plug on um, these each, on each side everything looks clean dry and there's no problem with it so all four looks really dry so apparently it's not leaking you know like I say so if you could see it it's very clean all the spark plug is clean to um, these three you probably can't see it but yeah it's overall it's pretty good um, so if any one of you guys want these uh, spark plug uh, let me know then yeah you could have it I'm going to remove it and you basically need a special tool for a uh, spark plug size and after you're done with it you could use one of these um, things to stick it down and then pull the spark plug out or you could use the two that you have because um, the socket itself has like a rubber seal inside the socket so it will grip on the spark plug and pull it out or you could use one of these to push it down on the on it and then get the spark plug onto these holes and pull it out so these are the trick that you could use but other than that um quickly show you guys so that is the like i said this is the vtex solenoid um it's not leaking um everything looks clean as you can see um from right here is the filter um the the mesh right there is very clean so but still since i took it out i'm still going to change it um i also have to remove these from the video i saw from other people doing it you have to use a mallet and push it in um, it looks pretty tight on it so I think it might be tough to put it in but I don't really have it mounted so I'm gonna try my best here's the okay here's the timing chain tensioner um, as you can see I open everything up so I'll be changing the seal the rubber seal is completely flat so I won't be reusing it I basically be changing it and I will also change these um, these seal right here, which I bought. Um, the serial number I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. And I took the pins out, as you can see. Um, pins looks really good condition. Um, it still have a lot of friction on it, like this thing. It's not smooth or anything. It's, it got a lot of T's, a lot of T on the the thread, so it's fine. But I'm still going to sand it down a little bit, even though it's not really necessary because it's pretty much like brand new feel like it like it has really good grip on it so yeah I'm gonna put that back uh, I also water a um, a pin for it too uh, a L pin like this like the L pin that goes in there and then hold on to it um, I don't know if I show you guys earlier um, I might show you guys later if I do use it um, okay anyway I'm going to pause it now okay guys um, so I finished the oil change valve cover, you know, all that gasket for the VTEC and then the timing belt uh, tensioner. Uh, I finished all that already and I took out the diffuser as, as well. So quickly I want to show you guys the spark plug. The condition is actually, um, let me check all these out. All four of these are in um, excellent condition, if you can see. Nothing wrong with them, um, perfectly fine, all four. Um, uh, similar condition it, it's not it doesn't look like it's it's burning oil or anything like that so the car it indicate that the car is pretty good actually so what I'm going to do is uh, if any of you guys who watch this video um, if you guys want this um, send me a message and I live in Fremont California um, because I would drop by and pick it up for free I also have a um, valve cover um, Use actually took out from my car, but it looks perfect condition. Um, when I felt the rubber, it actually looks like brand new, like the one that I just put in. Um, so, if any of you guys like who wants that, just let me know, and then um, yeah, come by and pick it up. Um, I probably just going to leave it online for a month. If no one will buy back, then I probably just going to put it on Craigslist and sell it. I might just sell like five bucks each. Um, obviously it's perfect condition, you know, nothing wrong with it, um, it still works, so, yeah, so, anyway, if you guys want it,
let me know if you guys don't want it well obviously you don't have to message me I'll just post on quick this after like a month or so if no one reply back so yeah and then the for the valve cover um, the seal the um, I probably just going to I mean it's it's in good condition if you want it then you could have it if not then I might just throw away because I I think it's pointless to sell those things and I recommend you guys should get a new one but if you guys do want a used one then you could have mine um, from what I see is it looks like pretty what I see and feel um, it's felt like new like the new condition like the one that I just play we uh, replace so yeah so if you guys want that other than that here's the spot plug I put it into the original box everything so yeah, just hit me up. If not, then I'll probably post on Craigslist. Um, yeah, other than that, oh, talk about my experience, reflection on the things that I just did. First of all, oh man, the the timing belt tensioner it is crazy. Okay, it's tough. I try. Um, for those of you guys who've done it, or you guys probably be laughing at me or for doing it, it doesn't have any problem. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have any have. I just felt like changing the spot plug valve cover and um, timing timing chain uh, tensioner the seal the rubber seal um it was hard it took me over an hour i actually like kind of scraped myself right there it took me an hour to trying to spin that thing and push everything in um and i actually bought the i actually bought the um honda small pins the piece of metal l-shaped pins where you stick it in so that the tensioner will hold when when, it, when it's compressed so that you can put it in. Um, I wasn't able to compress it enough so that the pin will go through. So it was tough. I was struggling for I don't know more than an hour, and um, I end up watching a YouTube video. Of, um, a lot of people, you guys are really helpful, and uh, one person recommend using an eight millimeter um, bolt, uh, which I happen to have it. So I use an eight millimeter bolt, and then I kind of use a drill and just kind of like screws that thing really fast. Um, I basically yeah so that thing will hold watch other video they'll probably show you and then I put it put that in so that was tough um, if I was if I didn't have that 8 millimeter um, bolt I will not touch that thing again I mean I got lucky I just happened to have 8 millimeter a bolt in my backyard so I was looking for it and I found one um, so I was able to get that installed the second thing is um, the, another thing that I want to even touch <laughs> is the valve cover um, spot plug. <laughs> the spot plug, the rubber seal, the round rubber seal. That thing is so tough to get out. I mean, I didn't want to do any dents or scrape on the valve cover. So I took my time. That thing probably took more than 30 minutes. Yeah, I probably would have just paid someone to do it if I really have to change it. But I didn't have to change it. But I felt like since I already bought it, and I opened the seal already. I opened the kit, the valve cover kit, the the whole seal, and then the rubber. There's no point for me not to change it. So it took forever. Um, if I was going to do it, I probably just hire like a mechanic and tell them to do it. And I'm not even sure how they would have done it, but it's it's tough. So so those two are the tough one. I mean, and then um, what else? Oh, I also noticed that my. Uh, Clutch master cylinder is leaking from the inside, so I just placed a water online, um, the OEN um, clutch master cylinder, so it's being shipped. It'll take about, I don't know, five or six days. Um, today is New Year's Eve, so they probably won't be shipping it out. Um, so I'll receive it, and I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I watched the video already. It seems pretty easy, like just a pan, two bolt, pop everything out, just squeeze, uh, use a turkey. Um, thing to squeeze all the fluid out and then put it in and then you um, bleed it just loose up the um, the valve on the bottom and just let the, gra the gravity do all the work gravity bleed all that thing out uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do it yet depends on the time I have um, but yeah but this is basically my personal experience on doing the the valve cover seal and the tensioner and Oh yeah, the, oh, another thing, VTEC, the thing is in good condition. If you guys want it, hit me up. Um, the filter thing, yeah, um, all the other gasket I threw away because it's kind of dry and hard. But the, the VTEC one seems new, so 
it's very uh, wobbly, elastic, so it's good. So, yeah, if you guys want to, uh, yeah, hit me up. That's all. All right, bye.